with update 6.9 came a tier 10 heavy buff all the heavies in tier 10 got additional hp but has it made any difference well i rolled out in a lot of tier x heavies yesterday and i'm going to show you if it's made a difference or not Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fuji to Blitz and as I said 6.9 brought us a massive heavy buff. Every single heavy in tier 10 got additional HP. It hasn't changed the armor profiles but has it changed the tanks or how they should be played? So what's happened is I've rolled out in a fair few heavies and I'm just going to show you some of the games. This one is the IS-4, which has always been a tricky tank to counter, to be perfectly honest with you. It's always had trolley armor. As you can see, it's now got a lot more HP. Well, I say a lot more, it's not got much more, but it's got more. The buff itself doesn't change the nature of its armor, as I say, so you've still got to play the tank correctly. You've got additional hit points, in other words, it's going to take them longer to kill you. You're no longer invincible, don't think you are. And the IS-4 does benefit slightly. It benefits because it's, it's going to take an extra shot now to destroy you. If you still put it at the wrong angle and in the wrong place, you're still going to get hurt. But as you can see here, I mean, in the opening of this clip, I bounced two shots, one from a Waffle Tractor and a missile from a Sheridan. Doesn't mean to say I'm going to bounce everything. You've still got to play the tanks correctly, as I say. You've still got to angle it correctly, etc, etc. However, this is not the tank it used to be. Now, I played all the TRXs yesterday uh, that you're going to see aggressively to an extent. And I'll be honest with you. This buff is very, very welcomed in a lot of these tanks. We'll get to where I think it was unnecessary later. But with this IS-4, I think it's a really welcome buff because it allows the IS-4 to now compete and be more competitive against the likes of the Sheridan because that tank is still a pain in the backside, especially with its missiles. I like the buff on the IS-4, as I said, it doesn't change the, the armor profile of the tank, you've just got more hit points. It means you can play the tank more like a true heavy, without having to worry about being wasted by cherubims every t 5 minutes. Yes, I call them cherubims, or even sheridums, because yeah, they are a pain in the ass when they can throw missiles up in the air and bang you from next to no time. So as you can see here, we didn't set the world on fire, 3,357, a nice second class, but we had fun. And a lot of people don't have fun in the heavies anymore. Next, we rolled out in the VK7201, one of my favorite tier X heavies, and again, a tank that's benefited from the additional HP. Again, and I've got to stress this, and I have to stress this as much as possible, the armor profile, guys, has not changed. The only thing that's changed is that it now has more HP, nothing else. The gun's the same, the, the damage output is the same, the armor profile is the same. So don't think that you, you've got shed loads more HP, you can put it in harm's way and get away with it, because you can't. However, again, this is a tank where the buff is really, really benefited this poor VK. It was a good tank before the buff, to be honest with you, but now you've just got that additional HP that somebody needs to take away from you. And it's it's it, it quite so about an extra maybe one shot from a Jaeger for example, or or two shots from a 215B, or at least another shot or from a missile from a Sheridan. And this is what I like about the buff. I mean, it just gives the heavies a little bit more of a heavy capability. 
the mediums are still going to dominate the tier um, because mediums are always going to dominate every tier because they're fast, they're nippy, and they've got a good gun in reload. But this has made the heavies for the least experienced players and experienced players alike. It's it's made the heavies more competitive again. It's it's put you back into a situation whereby you can play them like a heavy. You can push when you need to without worrying about two shots and you're gone. It's, it's, it's like, I mean, I've already taken two shots here. One from the Jaeger room, one from an IS-4. But, you know, with the additional HP, I know that the Jaeger room is not going to get rid of me in one go unless the ammo racks me, etc, etc. So you can be slightly more aggressive when you need to be. You don't get more bounces, as I keep saying, and I have to keep stressing this because a lot of people are, are under the impression that, you know, it's changed the armor profile. It hasn't. You, so you, you're not going to get more bounces. You're going to get the same amount of bounces you would normally get in these things. But you've just got that additional HP. And it really does help. Seriously, it does help. So we did, what, just shy of 4,000 there, get a second class, not too bad. This tank, the E100. Now, the E100 has always been, for me, a bit of a wet blanket. It, it's a true heavy, but it's always slightly suffered. To be honest with you, I mean, I, I find that the E100, whilst looking like a massive ball of steel, had not a lot of hit points, to be fair. And it, you know, four shots and you're gone in, in real terms. Not now. And now, it does benefit, again, and I have to stress this every single time, the armor profile hasn't changed. And I'm going to keep repeating it until it settles into people's heads. Because I've even seen people on Discord say, oh, it's so much better now because I can bounce everything. You're going to bounce what you've already bounced previous to the buff. All you've got is additional HP, nothing else. Everything else remains the same. All that you can do now is be rest assured that it's going to take another two shots to get rid of you. And that, in a heavy, is a big deal, to be honest. Because it allows you, as a heavy tank, to push. And that's the thing. And you know, a lot of people have said, oh, well, you know, why, why have they done it? I mean, I personally think they've done it to combat and to sort of power creep the effect of the missiles, which could be true. Others have said they've done it because the mediums dominate the tier. Well, let's be frank, the mediums dominate every tier, to be fair, because medium tanks are exactly what they're meant to be doing. They're, 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 they're fast, they're nippy, they, they've got pants armor, realistically, but they've got a great gun and a good reload. And, you know, these heavies, in fairness, without the HP buff, they, they, they were being decimated by the mediums. Not so now. Now it's going to take the mediums another couple of, a few more shots to get rid of these type of heavies. That is fantastic in my book because it allows, it frees up these heavies like the U100 to be a heavy. And that's what I think is great. Now you can be a heavy. Now, you can really push when you need to push. Okay, the pro players, the top players, the best players, were always going to play these tanks particularly well. Not because the tanks were OP, but because the player themselves is OP. And in the right hands, without the buff, these tanks were formidable. But, um, you know, I don't know how true this is, but if you ask a lot of the pro players, they'll probably tell you they prefer to go out in a medium because, you know, when you've got a good reload and good speed, why not? So, again, we're not setting the world on fire here. We do 3,800 and something damage. We get another second class. Now the 215B, one of my favourite tier Xs again. Now, the thing about this tank is it, it, had, uh, it had its HP removed. Now it's just been given its HP back, which is nice. The, the thing about the 215B is 
unlike a lot of the other tier X heavies, it hasn't got that long reload and it doesn't churn out a shed load of damage, but it's got a fast reload. So it will churn out a lot of damage quickly, not in individual shells. Not only that, all down, this thing is a beast. It's very difficult to pen it. And it's mobile, oddly enough. I mean, this thing is, is a very mobile, heavy tank. So does it benefit from its HP? Well, of course it does, because now you, 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 can, you can play it a little bit more reassured that it's going to take a few more shots to get rid of you. And, you know, in a minute, we're just going to get into a massive brawl in this thing. And, and it will show you that the HP buff is well deserved in tanks like this because it really needed those HP points back. And I'm glad it's happened because, I, like I say, I love the 215B anyway. A lot of people don't. A lot of people have struggled in the 215B. And I think this tank is now back to where it should be. And it should be having this amount of HP. So here we are in a brawl. And as you can see, there's an E100, there's another E100, there's a, a, a W, a, a 121B. In fact, there's tanks everywhere. And, you know, thankfully this E100 is not focused on me at this moment in time. Now he is. Um, I'm going to pen him and then I'm going to try and get close to him because I know the turret on this thing is still trolly. And don't, as I say in the previous videos, the armor profile hasn't changed. I don't think it has. It hasn't. The armor profile is still the same. So what I'm bouncing, I would have bounced before the buff. The only difference now is it's taking these tanks a lot longer to take me out. And that's, the, and that's one of the reasons there, the T-92. Because that thing is just a monster. It's going to get a nerf soon. It's not soon enough. And this is one of the reasons why they've had to do this, to, to, to counter these things. So we end up doing just over 4,000 damage, taking four kills. We're not setting the wall on foul, we get a first class, but it just goes to show that that HP buff on a tank like this is really recommended. And now we come to the final clip, the elephant in the room. This is the mouse. Now the mouse already had a shed load of HP. Now, it's got 3,000 hit points. And like if, like me, you roll it out with the additional armor equipment, it's now got 3,180 HP. This tank is now OP, in my opinion. This, this tank is now broken. It didn't need such a big buff. <laughs> okay, the mouse is a slow, lumbering fool of a tank. It hasn't got massive derp, but it's got a fantastic reload. And you're chipping out close to 500 per shell on a 12 second load. And this, this tank didn't need the massive HP buff that it got. It's broken. In my view, it really is broken. It's not OP as in overpowered. I mean, it's still you still need to play it correctly. You still need to angle it correctly. You still need to put it in the right place. You know, don't think that because it's now got 3,000 hit points, you're going to be totally invincible. You're not. But I think this one was unnecessary. For, for the extent, I mean, bringing it up to over 3,000 HP, if you run the equipment, it's just daft. I mean, now, it, it's, it, it's just a beast. Absolute beast. And as you can see here, I mean, I've already bounced 1,480. But I would have bounced that anyway before the buff. But the thing now is, it's taking, it's going to take the other side a long time to whittle me down. And that is the thing. So, the mouse, if you've got it, guys, roll out on it. Because you know what? This is now a broken tank. It really, really is. I mean, I played a few games in the mouse yesterday. And in all the games, I did over 4,000 damage. And, you know, the, the mouse isn't exactly the easiest tank to get over 4k damage in, to be perfectly honest with you. But it's now easier because it's still got the same armor profile, yes, which means you can put it in harm's way a lot more because it's still gonna bounce a shed load because it really does have trolley armor. And not only that, I mean, it, it's still got the trolley armor and now it benefits from massive amounts of hit points. 
You know what I mean? It, it's crazy, absolutely crazy. I mean, look at this. I've done 3,463. I mean, that's, that's, that, that's 300 and odd more than the hit points on my tank. I mean, that's mad. Okay, if you're a good player, you can now farm the mouse for over 3,000 damage. Yes, you can, easily. But, you know, you've got to be a good player to do that. And there aren't many who will do that. Some will bet me, you know, unless you come across somebody who has no idea about how to play a mouse. So I've bounced over 2,000, which I would have bounced anyway. But look at this. I mean, it's going to take him, in real terms, four shots to kill me. That poor VK is going to have to take four shots on me to get rid of me now. Four good shots, four proper rolls. And he's not going to do it. <laughs> he's just not going to do it. And this is the thing about the mouse. It's broken, guys. It really is totally broken. So we did 4,441 there. We bounced over 2,000. We took two kills. And we were in harm's way. Okay, we only get a first class. But that's not the point. So, guys, if you've got the mouse, seriously, 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 get out in it. Because it's just truly, truly broken. Anyway, I have been Fujit. And that has been my brief look at the HP buff for the tier 10 heavies. And I thoroughly recommend that. If you haven't played your heavies in tier 10 recently, roll out in them because they've all benefited, some more than many. So this one has benefited a lot more. And if you've got the mouse, get out in it because it's formidable. It's a beast. It's brilliant. It's broken. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. By all means, if you've got any decent replays, send them to me, fujitsblitz at gmail.com. If you haven't yet pressed subscribe, please do so. It's a lovely thing to do. As always, I want to thank my Patreons, who without their support, videos like this would be a lot harder. And I will say my usual thing, which is more poignant in the current situation with coronavirus. Guys, stay safe out there. Have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking, because that really is what it's all about. Staying safe, having fun and being happy.